Now at six, a neighborhood in Holyoke is at odds over a mental health and drug treatment facility set to open on Yale Street in the fall. Homeowners expressing their opinions through a growing lawn sign campaign. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo has that story. Like a, a, a violation of our own rights. This Yale Street homeowner didn't want to show his face on camera. But he's concerned about a 16-bed drug and mental health treatment facility opening so close to his house. To essentially force other people not only to accept it and embrace it, but because we're taxpayers here and they're a nonprofit, we are, in addition to losing property value on our homes, are essentially being asked to also pay for it. He tells Western Mass News it's not because of who will be staying there. My own son is a recovering addict, so I'm like the farthest thing from being against recovery. He's more upset at how Mental Health Association, the nonprofit running the center, went about buying the Holyoke property. The fact that it was kind of done in the dead of night, in a, in a sense. There are a lot of no signs in this neighborhood, especially here on nearby Cleveland Street, but there are some other residents in the area challenging that position, asking if not here, then where? I do worry that there's a bit of like somewhat of an elitist attitude towards keeping the neighborhood, keeping druggies out of the neighborhood. This will be actually the only house of its kind in western Massachusetts. MHA representative Kimberly Lee says the facility's guests will come from the LGBTQ community, but she says rather than a health care setting. We are an organization that will be providing residential based services um, from an educational perspective. Under Massachusetts's Dover Amendment, a building with an educational purpose can be built in a neighborhood not traditionally zoned for one. The no residents feel that amendment is too broad and is allowing MHA to put up a facility the neighborhood doesn't want just because they can. Like to me, the time for meet and greet would have been when they were thinking about buying it, when our issues could have brought up and we could have had a, um, a dialogue with the, with the MHA group and arrived at even a compromise. Lee says they weren't under any obligation to host meet and greets in community meetings. They did it because they wanted to. We want to be really good neighbors. We just really want to be good neighbors. In Holyoke, Audrey Russo, Western Mass News.